Quinn, what do we got? The victim's name is Thelma Royston. She's got multiple stab wounds and bullet entry wounds. I'd call that excessive. Judging by the position, she has a single bullet wound back of the head. All right. Uh, we got any footprints or tracks in here? Looks like one set right across the head. Let's, uh, we got a weapon? let's just get the gunshot wounds to ourselves. Mr. Royston? I'm Detective Bonner. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Yeah, sure. Were you expecting anyone last night? No. No one. Did you see anything, Mr. Royston? What were you doing, sir, when your mother-in-law went to look for Thelma? You okay with this? I think so. Gilmore Dante? Yeah. We have a subpoena to take you to the state attorney's office in Tampa for questioning concerning the murder of Thelma Royston. You know, there's, well, there's motive. Now we have his ex-wife linking all three of them. And we have Mordanti acting just a little strange when Gail mentioned Thelma's murder. We have no murder weapon. We have no physical evidence placing either of these men at the scene. Does Michael own a gun? Yes, he collects guns. We arrested Michael Mordanti for the murder of Thelma Royston. After a search, we confiscated a 22 caliber Beretta handgun. Bag it. I have to go now, so say that you've forgiven me. I don't want you to be angry with me. I'm not angry. Upset, yes. I have to go see my psychiatrist now. They make me go. I make up things to say to him. And he says, I'm a regular onion. I keep him peeling back the layers. I'm inclined to believe you need the psychiatrist. <laughs> you don't mean that. No, I don't mean that. You've forgiven me then, haven't you? Yes. Yes, I've forgiven you. Have more respect for where you are. Need I remind you again that our Lord Jesus died near to a cross so you could kneel there? Did you receive your absolution and your penance? Yes, but it daunted me that there was a sin I forgot to confess. And now I can't start my penance till all is forgiven. We haven't much time now. Uh, there's mass at 8 o'clock. No rest for the wicked, Father. What is that supposed to mean? Do I have to remind you again that our Lord Jesus Christ died near to a cross? No, no, Father. I, I just want to confess and get this heavy burden off my shoulders. Ah, good. It's best to keep a clean slate. You never know, you could be dead tomorrow. Come on, then. So, Mr. Donahue, you failed the lie detector test. Those things don't work, you know that. You deceived us when we asked you if you harmed your wife. When we asked you about removing her body from the house. Come on, Mr. Donahue, help us out here. That's why I'm here. Where is your wife? <laughs> <laughs>